Yes, we are still currently working on the trailing arm setup here. These are the Volkswagen axles. This is the hub that I made. And my bearings came in. These are the new sealed bearings, which are exactly the same size as the Volkswagen one, which are the same width as the China one. I've also got a new set of seals. And I got the seals a skinnier set because the bearing is wider than the China bearing. You can see that there. So the skinnier seals should make up for some of the difference in that. So that's part of the plan here to get this thing put together on this axle, shove it in this trailing arm and make sure everything's good. I've also dealt with the vendor that the trailing arms came from because you remember they sent me two left hand ones and we'll talk about that in the next coming video but it'll be separate from this one. But yes, this is still underway. We're still going to talk about this and it's coming up very, very soon. And then there's my replacement chain. I got a new chain breaker while I was at it and this thing looks pretty stout. I don't know, I guess we'll see if I start to tighten it and it blows apart. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, Lord Duckman here with another exciting video for the weekend. That's right, we're not doing a regular video this weekend because it's a holiday weekend, and what that means is my videos typically take a big poop on holiday, so we're going to push it over to Monday. So everybody that's out there, hey, happy Easter, happy Passover, happy Ramadan, happy Equinox, although I think the last two was probably a couple weeks ago, but uh, thanks for watching so much, and um, we'll be back on Monday with another exciting go-kart video, and then we'll follow up probably on Wednesday with another Volkswagen one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Licky, likey, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next week. But here I'm going to leave with you a couple things that we got coming up, so uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching. And this is what I was talking about in a previous video where I had said that they sent me two left hand arms. Now as you can see the shock mounts that are inside of here, the shocks go from the top. If you turn this over and try to use it as the right side, well you can't because the shape of the metal won't let you. These things do have some different angles and some shapes that don't lend themselves well to even being used on the right hand side. I imagine you know if you were stranded in a desert and you had two left hand arms and you had to get home, you could probably make it work, but in order for the vehicle to perform properly, it needs to be balanced and uh, you know, it wouldn't be the case had these arms <laughs> not been set up properly for a left and right arm. Anyway, the other thing that is the same on both of these is the little sway bar link. You see where it attaches here. If you turn it this way, look, one's on the bottom and one's on the top, but that's not going to work. So that's not how it's supposed to be. Yeah, sure, I could just cut them and, you know, modify them and make stuff work right. But again, the angles in the geometry of this stuff is not the same. These arms are actually a little bit different. And they can actually see when I stand them up and you look at them from this way, you can see the shapes of them. You see how this one is leaning to the left? And if I lift this one up and do the same thing, you'll see again, this one is leaning to the left. So yeah, they need to be mirror images of one another. Can't use the same armor on both sides. Good news about these though, the company I ordered them from has been very, very diligent about getting back to me. They responded to me at 7 p.m. on a Sunday night, which was remarkable. But they want some pictures, so I'm taking some photos, video, you know, what have you, sending it off to them, and I'm gonna let them sort it out. They seem to be um, unaware of what happened because I think they got drop shipped from their vendor. So it wasn't their fault at all. But anyway, We'll talk more about that as the updates come down the chain, but uh, that's it for now. I thought I heard a go-kart coming. Not at all what I got. That's not something you see every day. Towing a bicycle and a weed whacker. <laughs> all right, here's the chain that broke off of that thing, B. Oh my goodness. Look at how that busted up. Holy cow. Yeah, it actually chewed the links right out of it, and some of the pieces aren't even there anymore. They're missing. Oh my and goodness. it's really stiff, as you can see, because the thing had been sitting out in the weather anyway. And I had lubed it and freed it up, but it didn't matter. Once it got dried, it turned to poop again, so. <laughs> uh, it is scary. Yeah. Chain busted. It sheared right off. Yeah. Snap it did. This is just super, super thin chain anyway. It's not a heavy duty at all. <laughs> oh yeah, and the new Damn. chain already has a flaw in it. Look at that. It's the only link that I see that's stamped that way, but there is one link that was on it that was a different color. Yeah, I don't see it. There's your master. 
and it was one link on there it's a different color maybe it's just the way the light was hitting i don't see it now but anyway <laughs> we're good to all go all right down the back side here you can see the 196 engine that's installed which is very similar to a predator 212 it's detuned just a little bit the 212 does make just a little bit more power but this engine's coming out and going to be replaced with this one this is a predator 301 i it took me a little it took me a little while to figure that out because it's missing all the labels from having been weathered for a while but with the help of the HIPAA store, we got this sucker running. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this engine and put it in there. This one makes about 50% more power, even in stock configuration. And I've got a bunch of gee dunks and bells and whistles to upgrade it as well. But thankful once again to the HIPAA store for helping me to get this engine running. So before we continue on, let's go ahead and talk about the HIPAA store. <laughs> All right, I went ahead and I pulled the footprint from the Harbor Freight manual as to where the four bolts bolt in to make this engine mount. And then I pulled up the footprint to the 196, and I discovered that the bolts, the width of them, this way and this way, the maximum width, because one of the holes is slotted, is the same as the minimum width on this engine. So we might actually get two of the bolts to line up, but why only two? That's because the width from front to... That's because the length from front to back, the bolts on this one, the bolts on this engine are much further apart uh, than what you see on here. So if I'm going to use the same engine mounting plate, I'm going to have to either make some new holes or perhaps um, change how things mount. I don't exactly know how yet, but I do know for a fact that the case on this is a lot bigger. So where the rear pulley mounts, and you can see that cylinder shaped thing, that's where the shaft goes through that, that's probably going to need to be eliminated because the engine, this one, will not clear that. And unfortunately, I can't push the engine forward because the swing arm pushes the engine into the, the frame. So yeah, the engine has to be right about where it is and no further forward than that because if I hit a good sized bump or something, yeah, the engine actually will clash with the frame. So what we're going to do today is we're first going to take the engine off of here and remove it from the mounting plate. Then we're going to set up the clutch and such on this and get this thing removed from here. And then we'll see if we can get them to adapt to each other and get the chains to line up. And if everything goes well from there, I actually have a new chain ordered for this thing because the chain snapped on it last week. So we're going to replace all that too. Well, anyway, uh, I guess it's time to jump into this thing and start tearing some stuff apart. Yeah, look at that. Look up at me. Yeah. I can Photoshop the junk out of the background. <laughs> yeah, that's great. 